Digitis is a computer program aimed to uh, simulate a dissection uh, of various animals. It's based on stills, quick time VR video and animation. You use it in the computer, cutting up the animal. You get all the organs identified uh, and in connection to this you will get uh, histology and uh, taxonomy, phylogeny and so on. So it's much more integrated with other disciplines that the, the regular, than the regular teaching is. The different parts that are included in Digitis are of course firstly the animals themselves. Right now we are including the rat, the cod, the dogfish, the frog and the hen. Uh, later on we will also add modules for invertebrates. Then there is a section dealing with uh, the actual techniques and instruments used in uh, dissection. There is also video sequences showing the actual incisions in the animal. And there is QuickTime VR, 3D figures showing different structures like the heart, the skeleton and the exterior of the animal. There is also uh, a phylogenetic part showing the, the relationships between the different animal groups. And there is uh, a taxonomical part dealing with the uh, placement in the natural hierarchy of nature. If you do it, a real dissection, if you make one mistake, you can't go back and start all over again. You have to continue or you have to uh, interrupt your dissection. But if you use Digitis, you can go back mm -hmm. and forward however you want and you can work with it by yourself. I think it's very good. It allows for unlimited repetition uh, and it also allows you to uh, do direct comparisons between different animals, compare uh, the histology between different groups. As it now is, uh, the histology course is usually separated from the morphology course, which means that uh, first you study the histology and might not even know what kind of organ you're looking at. And then a couple of months later, you will see the actual organ. Here you see it all at the same time, which I see as a big advantage. Within biological science education, there are several species of vertebrate that are used regularly for teaching anatomy and physiology. At the University of Portsmouth in England, media producers and biology teachers have combined their skills and resources to produce video film of professionally performed dissections. These vertebrate dissection guides feature the dogfish, the frog, the pigeon and the rat. Each 50-minute video from the series investigates one of these species. The videos use high-resolution photography, color overlays and 3D animated graphics to teach the anatomy and evolutionary significance of the vertebrate under study. The videos begin with the external features of the animal. To progress onto the internal structures, the animal is first prepared for dissection. The student is then guided through the different stages of the practical by a narrator. For each species, there is a detailed investigation of the digestive, urinogenital, circulatory and other systems. The narrator identifies the organs and surrounding structures and describes their functional relationships. The two lobes of the liver anteriorly, the kidneys and testes become apparent, lying below the dark red spleen and the cut end of the stomach. Where the, elementary... the motivation behind the production of the vertebrate dissection guides was to improve the student understanding of comparative anatomy. Teachers have found that this video resource can often provide more information than the dissection itself. It also offers students the freedom of choice over their preferred learning style, creating a better learning environment. My name is Siri Martinsson and um, I'm a veterinary student, a uh, third year yet veterinary student at a veterinary college in Norway. As a veterinary student, I have to have knowledge about uh, how animals look inside. One way of doing that is, of course, dissection. Animals are killed for dissections, but um, I don't think it 
has to be that way. You can also use naturally dead animals, which I did in my studies. A solution is to uh, uh, call animal owners and ask them if they could give you the animals that die naturally. That way I got both horses and cows for dissection. Uh, it's a very good solution for veterinary colleges who want to use natural or dead animals is to link up with veterinary clinics, but for small and large animals. And so um, I brought the animals to the pathology department. Uh, it's important that it's a non-infectious disease or an injury. Uh, and then I did the dissections on the ethically sourced animals. The use of animal for dissection is actually the most common harmful use of animals in education, both in biology and veterinary medicine, and also in many other fields. Uh, they use killed animals for dissections. So um, starting to use naturally dead animals is really uh, one of the most important ways of decreasing the number of animals killed for education, I think.